um, you know, with this show, it, I understand that it, it uh, you know, deals with various uh, types of genres um, that you know, you know, don't normally find with a, a series. You know, you, you deal with we're dealing with comedy and we're dealing with sci-fi. So, can you talk about you know how um, how that process was putting the music together to kind of complement you know those you know uh, uh, various genres with the show? Absolutely. Um, working on the music for uh, for Nobility, it's. It's very interesting in the sense that this is a show that, you know, definitely has a humoristic uh, aspect to it. But uh, as it, every single story is from the characters, and I was being uh, told by that by EJ, the creator, really uh, from the start, was that they all have a way deeper story. It's like be, be, underneath the humoristic aspect of it, there is actually a larger world, a deeper and a, a deeper aspect of the characters and we're really going to discover that behind all that humor they're actually hiding some pretty uh, s some pretty hard things that happen in their lives that their past that there's a reason why they're all on that ship and so musically it was very interesting because you have to create like a, a fun light theme that also have to to represent that aspect of it. And EJ also was very clear from the beginning, like in the main theme, he wanted that to, to appear in it. So it's like it started really light and really, really grand and uh, really, really fun in some ways. Right. But right in the middle, it takes definitely a darker tone. And a, a tone that, that, that kind of needs to tell us that uh, things are gonna, are gonna get more serious sometimes and there's definitely problems that they're gonna have to deal with and you know I shouldn't certainly hope that I managed to convey that through <laughs> Buna's score. Alright, uh, well, well speaking of that, you know with comedy, you know I feel that it's a really fine line that music plays, you know it has to make sure that it doesn't overpower you know what's what, what you're watching on screen but it still sometimes has to help you know um, give the audience a, a, a nod or kind of a uh, imitation to you know to understand that it's the time where they can relax and laugh so um, can you talk a bit about you know how that process was of finding that fine line because I know you were you know saying just now that that it it you know varies between drama and comedy yeah, absolutely and this is where nobility for me working at it, on it is is so interesting because the way we can we can do that is that each character actually they have such strong personalities their themes, they all, it turned out that I actually, almost all of them have a, a specific theme. And uh, that theme is actually what kind of tells us a story. They're saying something really funny, but underlying the score is kind of like in a subliminal way is, is giving us those hints that, okay, well, that guy may appear to be a drunk in the case of Mooney. Right. But there is a reason he's on the best ship that the Confederate Alliance got, and he's in the engineering, and somehow the government trusted him to, to be in charge of that ship. And this is where the music comes in. The music can, in a subliminal way, without being too obvious, tells us that this guy actually has quite a story, which I am not going to disclose tonight. <laughs> but uh, that, that's definitely what's happening. And you're right when you say that it's very easy sometimes for the music to, to overpower that and this is where of course my job but this is why it's always the composer's job you know often people don't realize like the amount of pressure we have because yeah depending how we do like the, we have the responsibility of all of a sudden making the wrong note somewhere and the show how becomes cheesy yeah, yeah what they see. it's like it, it's that fine thing it's like if it's perfect nobody will say anything about it but trust me, if it's wrong, then people will be like, you know what, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it is. It is definitely a, a fine line, and, and in that aspect, nobility is is a, is a tough gig uh, uh, as far as putting that together. But I mean, honestly, that show has everything that first of all made me like sci-fi. And I was right. just telling my wife like last week as I was laying down something for Duke Jones' character, for example. It's like. It's almost like a, a, a syndrome or something. It's like, you know, when, when you have a disease and it forces you to do stuff. <laughs> and, and it's like with that show, finally, I can actually explain that musically because I have those musical things that I, I always wanted to put and nobility is that thing that allows me to release it. And so uh, the process of scoring nobility is really smooth in that regard. And so far, EJ and Neil 
uh, love what's what's coming together, and okay. yeah, that's that's definitely something I'm looking forward to share with everybody. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, in terms of, of the music that you use, do you use? Um, would you say that it's more of an instrumental uh, type of score where, where you're you know using guitar or, or what have you, or is it more of a thematic thing that you've you know looked for sounds? You know, you've looked for maybe like animal sounds, or you looked for various things you know that are not necessarily you know instrumental. Well, the the process here is funny. You're talking about guitars because Takashima's character's theme <laughs> definitely has guitars in one because he's that guy who wants to be a cowboy, right. <laughs> and so we're trying, we're putting off that whole sort of like sci-fi slash dark country style that he's got, and uh, you know it's very interesting. What's funny is that all of them have themes that yes involve like ethnic sounds. Um, world music that that kind of make like instruments that are really rare for example like a, a duduk or uh, uh, some uh, naive Chinese flute and but you know tweak and integrate in such a way that it's hard to rec to to analyze where or what that instrument is which all of a sudden makes it coming out of outer world and um, what's What's very interesting is all these themes with all these different instruments, the way to link them together, because the danger was you have all these different type of things, like how do you make it all work together? Well, the link is the orchestral, the, the orchestral part of the score, because all these themes can be played by the orchestra. And so in these moments where you need to link it, well, all you need to do, like for example, if you have a, a, a villain pipe uh, that I actually use for the character of Muni, well, that same melody you make play by the French horns from, and all of a sudden, it's part of the the grand the grand score. It's integrated to it, and yet it's still his theme. But all of a sudden, it interacts better with the other characters. All right. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right.